Fans, this is Matt Money Shot sniffing at the Madden cheese as always. I got some more plays for you out of my Bengals book. Uh, this right here is the only defensive playbook I used all year, but to be honest with you, I like to switch it up a little bit. Uh, I'm pretty much showed you just about every blitz that I have, uh, with the exception of some out of the diamond quarter and stuff like that. This is probably the last video I'm going to do out of the Bengals defensive playbook. But if you guys want more, link in the description below uh, for the full breakdown video as well as my ebook. Other than that, if you guys could help me out uh, by giving me an idea of a playbook that I could use that's different than the Bengals book, I know there's some, you know, pretty good. Uh, playbooks that are pretty close like the Ravens and stuff like that but I'd like to use a playbook that's got like a completely different setup of defensive plays that I could lab with so if you guys can help me out let me know what you'd like to see I'd appreciate that in the comment section uh, other than that let's go ahead and let's get into this blitz I'm only going to show one blitz today out of this I'm not going to do the two part like I typically do but this is the one that I use the most the nickel dog two uh, this particular play is pretty best it's right at the moment right now it's my bread and butter if you watch my gameplay videos you'll see I got a lot of heat with this um, I'll pop some links for that you can check that out but other than that there's a couple adjustments that I really want to make uh, to start off you want speed in certain areas um, and you're gonna want you know for one spot you're gonna want Geno Atkins here you're gonna want somebody with some speed if you have a fast defensive end like this I could switch him out for a linebacker because I want to use him uh, more towards the middle so we'll go ahead and we'll put in this Josh Evans cat because I think or Jordan Evans whatever I think he's pretty fast so we'll switch him out and then we'll go with um, Carl Dunlap right here because I'm gonna be using this spot a lot of times uh, but it's really up to you there's actually two ways you can run this I'll probably end up showing both um, other than that, I don't really think Glasgow's any good. We'll go ahead and we'll put Atkins there. Other than that, I want speed at this cornerback spot because obviously he's the blitzer. Um, I'm pretty sure that Denard's pretty fast, so I guess I'll leave that just like it is. Um, and that's it. So we'll go ahead and we'll pick that play and we'll get into it. Uh, you know, this is going to work best with anything where um, it's an obvious passing situation because the way I'm going to set this up is not going to be too great against run plays. But let's go ahead and let's do this against Random Gun. <clears throat> Now this setup here is pretty simple. All I'm really going to do, and it, all, it already kind of looks like it might already be that way, but all I'm really going to do is I'm going to base a line, which is triangle or Y, and then uh, left on the left stick. And then I'm also going to, yeah, he already was down, so that's, I'm going to go ahead and do it again and come right back. I'm going to base a line, and a lot of times I'll press. Uh, and that's basically all I really does is it'll position this guy here. If he's out of position, like say he's back like this when the play starts, uh, basing, lining, and pressing will a lot of times just bring him down to the line where I want him, but I'm on top of him right now. But I just basically want him to come down. So let's go ahead. Let me get off him real quick so I can get that position I want. But basically, just basing, lining, and pressing will just put him right in a good spot. Now, it's really up to you with the outside coverages. I think the soft squat is adequate. Uh, if it's a cover three, a lot of times pressing will get him burnt. But since it's a, it's a cover two, it's not really an issue. So basically, it's your choice if you want to stick with that soft squat or you can do underneath or over top. Um, since it's a computer, I'll probably do some underneath stuff because they like to check down like crazy when the heat comes. So that's one way to do it. Other than that, the only other thing you really can do, I've done a couple different things uh, with this play. Earlier on in the year, I would, I would bluff Blitz Evans here, and that's not a bad look. Uh, but I'm really finding a better way to do it is to bluff Blitz Dunlap. That's why I had you put one of your faster guys here so you can use her in the middle with this guy. And then I also find it's good to, uh, to do a QB contain. Now, the QB contain a lot of times will get that defensive end free. Uh, if your opponent rolls out, it'll a lot of times get him in trouble because the heat will force him to the one side, and that'll basically get this guy here uh, free pressure for an easy sack. Um, but realistically, it's up to you. You can run it without the QB contain. I uh, run just like this. So it's really a couple different options you can do. But I find against user opponents, against the computer, not so much. But against user user opponents with the mobile quarterback, that QB contains epic. Another thing you could do too is is you know pressing and uh, base aligning, and then just using these linebackers like normal is a good way to do it. A lot of times I'll do it just like this. <laughs> Um, still do the QB contain is still helpful, um, but a lot of times just doing it just like this is pretty good. So let's go ahead and let's run it back like that. And you can see we're getting pressure there. He has to step up. Almost throws it right into my DB's hands. You can also run it just like this. Just base align and press. 
Um, you know, QB containing is your is your option, but this is a really good way to do it. And then just use one of these middle linebackers, uh, typically using the closest, you know, right there. Boom, safe, you know, getting pressure from both sides. So you don't have to do nothing too crazy. But base aligning, bringing that cornerback in is very important. Like I said, I'll, I'll, I'll do the QB containing, but that's only if I think a quarterback's going to leave the pocket. So there we got that little zig route. And we're getting pressure again. Look at that. Boom. This is this is an easy way to do it. But mix it up. Against users, it's a little bit different. Against computer like this, you got to send that extra blitzer. But uh, and here we're going to get that run. I mean, we're stuffing the run with this, which is surprising. <laughs> But yeah, this is definitely one of my base defenses when people run the ball. So I can't say that I'm necessarily surprised by it stopping the run because I do use it quite a bit. And that's just, what was that? That had to be pressure. Yeah, a lot of times the computer will just, in these practice modes, will just chuck the ball out of bounds when they feel pressure. Doesn't really work too great for my video. But another thing I do is like, there, he's running. That means that the guy was getting in and made him chase. All right, so let's just run this once or twice more, see if I can end this on a sack. I might do a, I might do a second part to this video. Um, is there that's the play action <laughs> murdered that's why against a user opponent this this QB contained is so invaluable because a lot of times the quarterback's gonna be forced out of the pocket and that'll just make like I said there he's forced out boom right into the QB contain I'm surprised that the defensive end isn't getting a, a good amount of pressure from the uh, the blitzing side um, because against the user online opponents he gets in free a lot I don't know maybe I have a really good defensive end I don't know there we get another <laughs> Uh, there we go. Like I said, I was expecting to see it here so I could highlight it, but it's not happening. Maybe I don't have a really good defensive end right now, but like a fast defensive end for whatever reason, we're really coming quick. There we go. Boom with the hit stick. So we'll go ahead and we'll move on. So that's it. If you guys want to see uh, part two out of this, uh, it'll be on my Patreon now. Um, but I have a really good blitz. The, sec the second blitz is probably even better than the first blitz if you want to know the truth about it. So, you know, head over there, check it out, or hit the like button or let me know in the comment section if you want to see part two and I'll put that out in a couple days like I normally do. And that's it. Other than that, that's it. Thanks for watching, man. Money shit out. Just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below